She put words in my mouth. Lion King actor smashes Megan's lies, offend his African legacy, never meet her. In the span of a week, this is the second time a celebrity lets fame go to her head and lies through her teeth in order to make herself look good in front of the world. It's also the second time a celebrity gets called out on her lies in a very public manner. First, Olivia Wilde got painfully called out by Shia LaBeouf. Now, Meghan Markle just got called out by one of the most respected South African actors in the world. His name is Dr. John Carney. He was friends with Nelson Mandela, and he was deeply offended by Meghan Markle's false claims from a latest interview with The Cut. Meghan lied that a South African cast member of Lion King told her that when she married a rich white man, South Africans rejoiced in the streets, at a level he hadn't seen since when Nelson Mandela was freed from prison. She didn't expect journalists to investigate this outrageous claim, and when the only South African member of the cast, Dr. John Carney, was questioned. Carney feels strongly about these claims and decided to call out the Markle. This is the same actor who played King T'Chaka in Marvel Studios' Captain America Civil War and Black Panther films. He said, I've never met Meghan Markle. This seems like something of a forks pass by her. I've never met the Duchess at all. I'm the only South African member of the cast, and I didn't attend the premiere in London. The only South African was me playing Rafiki, but I didn't go to the opening in Leicester Square as I didn't have the time to do it. It's baffling me. I'm the only South African in the cast. I can't even tell you now what month she married or what year. In my memory, no one would have known when she got married, when or what. We had no South African link to the wedding or to her marrying Harry. I'm truly surprised by this. For me, it's a non-event, the entire thing. This shows that Meghan puts words in other people's mouths to craft a false, favourable public image of herself. This particular lie borders on defamation, because such an outrageous statement that Meghan marrying a rich white man was just as important to Dr. Carney as Nelson Mandela's release from prison could have severely damaged his character, reputation and ability to find work had he not gone on record to refute her brazen lie. The revelation comes as Samantha Markle's lawyer is confident after a make-or-break hearing in the defamation lawsuit against Meghan Markle. Peter Tickton, Samantha Markle's attorney, told Newsweek, I feel confident. Once I explained how and why Meghan did what she did to discourage readers from reading Samantha's book, which was titled with the name Princess Pushy in it, the whole case made more sense. Now Samantha's lawyer is looking for evidence of Meghan's lies. He sent emails to groups to collect proof. His legal assistants have undoubtedly collected stacks of ugly, hateful crap, but they may be looking for more personal hateful attacks and how it impacted the recipient. Meghan Markle thinks this lawsuit is about money because money is all she thinks or cares about. In her eyes, everything and everyone else are dispensable. The lawsuit is about the real truth and not just Meghan's false narrative claims. It's also about justice, karma and family. Any sane, reasonable person wouldn't do what they've done. Also, she thinks Samantha just wants a fame. She doesn't understand Samantha, just wants to be left alone at this point. And she also wants Meghan to just call their dad and let him see his grandchildren. Which of course is never going to happen, because instead, Meghan set him up and took him down.